here are all my band t-shirts and I'm going to be going through them all, trying them all on. So these are mostly for metal bands, but there are also some goth bands as well. This one is Valahor, and I saw Valahor in Canberra. They are a folk metal band from Brisbane in Australia, and I really like the music. It's quite unique. I've never heard any other band do it, anything like this before. They were one of the warm-up bands and decided to really, really like their music, so I purchased the shirt. And this one's in a size small. This shirt is The Cure and it is a picture of their album cover for Disintegrations. This is one of my favourite albums of theirs. I really love the song Disintegration itself. It's probably my favourite ever as well as Lullaby from this album. This one is in a size small. The next shirt is for Opeth. I saw Opeth in Sydney live. I really like a lot of their older albums more than their newer albums but I picked up this shirt because I thought the pattern looked really cool and on the back there is also a really cool O in their logo. This one is in a size small. This next shirt is for Ginger in a size small as well. I saw them live in Canberra. I'm so shocked when really quite big metal bands come to Canberra because we're pretty small compared to like Sydney or Melbourne. So this is where this is Ginger. I love this song Pisces as most people do. <laughs> Next is for the Sisters of Mercy. I have two shirts by them. This first one is quite simple. So this is basically from their album, Some Girls Wonder By Mistake. And I picked this up when I saw them live in Sydney. And on the back, it's just got their name as well. This shirt is super, super long. So I'm thinking I might cut it and turn it into a bit of a crop top, but I'm not sure yet. And this is in a size small. This next shirt, I'll try and link it below if I can, because I think I got it from Amazon. So it's this kind of grungy, kind of unique singlet looking top. Again, the Sisters of Mercy. And I just really like the style of it, so that's why I got it. This long sleeve is in a size medium, and it is for Drab Majesty's album, Modern Mirror. It's not my favorite album of theirs, but again, I just kind of like the design. My favorite album of theirs is The Demonstration, but Modern Mirror does have some pretty good tracks as well. It's a bit more post-punky and not as synth-wavy as one of their, as The Demonstration is. I saw these guys live in Sydney and have a video of that as well. And on the sides, it says Modern Mirror. And I just love when long sleeves have print on the sides. It just looks so cool. This next one is for Antagonist AD. And this is one of my favorite pieces of merch. It's just so detailed. The front design looks absolutely awesome. And the font is just super, super cool. There's some text along the, along the sleeve which I just love when it comes to long sleeve tops. I saw these guys for the first time live when I went to see the Amity Affliction again in Canberra and I just love their stuff. I would say their music is quite political, it's very very heavy and they really can get you hyped up. And I got this in a size medium, Parkway Drive. These guys were the first metal band I ever saw live. This is a really really cool design. I absolutely love this album, definitely my favourite reverence. And the design is just kind of cool. There's like some blood splatters around it with a gold spelling out their logo and on the back it's got their tour dates as well and it's got their logo again. It's kind of freaky. There's like some naked people around splattered in blood so it's kind of dark but it's a pretty cool shirt. We got this in a size small. The Amity Affliction, I really love them. They're a metalcore band from Australia and their lyrics are so incredibly powerful and emotional and they sing a lot about mental illness which really really helped me in my teenage years when I was struggling a lot because I really felt that their music was very cathartic to listen to and this design just looks really really nice and as well as the colours, blue and green, really beautiful and this is from their album This Could Be Heartbreak and I got this one in a size small. This shirt is for Aunt. I saw her at Wave Gothic Treffen in 2019. There's some clips of her in my Vicky T compilation video. She does a lot of dark wave, kind of really unique music. She's French, she's, she does everything herself, so she plays the synths and she sings as well. And I got this one in a size small. Flesh God Apocalypse. This is from one of their albums. I saw them in Canberra. They were absolutely phenomenal and decided to pick up a shirt. I really like the design, it looks pretty cool. Some different colours than what I usually wear. So yeah, this is from the Valena Australia tour and I really, really enjoyed them. This 
is the merch I picked up when I went to Hellfest in 2019. I have a compilation video of all the bands that I saw there. This one's in a size small. I like that. It's quite a simple design. And then on the back, you can obviously see all the bands that play, except for Manowar. He basically pulled out saying the sound was too quiet. Sabaton filled in for them, which I thought they were awesome. Everyone else had to deal with the same sound limits. Anyway, finally, the merch I picked up from Download Festival in 2019 in Sydney. I saw so many amazing bands. That year, the lineup was absolutely awesome. That was the first festival I'd ever been to. This one in a size small. I really, really love the print, how it's got the, the cobra and the skull and Download. It's just really, really awesome. Let me know who your favorite bands are below and check out my music compilation videos because a lot of these guys whose shirts I have recorded a lot of videos. Do go and watch those videos after this and thank you so much for watching.